In this lecture, we will understand the concept of storage classes in C++. So, without any further delay, let's get started with this lecture and let's see what are the topics. The first topic is introduction to storage classes. First, I will give you the introduction. Then, we will understand what are local variables, static variables and global variables. So, these are the topics. Let's start with the first one, that is introduction to storage classes. Variables have two features, type and storage class. So, any variable has two features. One is type and the other one is storage class. We already know what a type is. Type tells the type of data a variable can hold. So, type gives us the information about the type of data a variable has the capability to hold. On the other hand, storage class tells the scope and lifetime of a variable. Now, what is the meaning of a scope? Scope tells part of the program that can access the variable. So, it gives us the information about the area where the variable is accessible or it is visible. On the other hand, lifetime tells how long a variable can exist. As the name itself suggests, lifetime gives us the information about the life of the variable, that is when it will be destroyed. So, we now know what is storage class. Now, based on the storage class, we can classify variables into three types. So, here are the types of variables. The first one is local variables and then we have static variables and we have global variables. So, we have three different types of variables based on the storage class. Now, we will understand these three different types one by one in this lecture. For now, we are done with the introduction. This means we are done with the first topic. Let's move to the second topic to understand local variables. So, what are local variables? A local variable is a variable which is defined inside a function. So, a local variable is always defined inside a function and it is considered local to that function. That's why the name local variable. The scope of the local variable is limited to the function and life of the local variable ends when the function exits. This means when the function completes its execution, then the variable gets destroyed. Its scope is limited to the function. This means it is not accessible outside the function. So, these are the properties of a local variable. Now, let's understand through an example how we can define a local variable. Here is the example program. I have defined the function fun with return type void. Here is the variable var of type integer with value 10. This is the local variable to this function. So, its scope is limited to this function. This means we cannot access this variable outside this function. And when this function completes its execution, this variable will be destroyed. Now, here inside the main function, I am calling the fun function. As the fun function is called, the variable var will be created with value 10. After function completes its execution, this variable will be destroyed. Now here, I am trying to access this variable, but this is not possible. Reason number one is that this variable will get destroyed after completion of the function. So anyhow, we cannot access this variable. Also, the scope of this variable is limited to this function. This is reason number two. We cannot access this variable outside this function, that is within the main function. So, we will get error in this specific case. We cannot access this variable over here. I hope this is clear to you. So, this is about the local variables. We are done with the second topic also. Now, let's move to the third topic to understand static variables properly. What are static variables? A static variable is a variable which is defined using the static keyword. So, we put the static keyword in front of the variable to denote it as the static variable. Its scope is limited to the function where it is defined and life of the static variable starts 
when the function is called and ends when program completes execution. So its lifetime is the entire program, not the function where it is defined. This is one difference between the local variable and the static variable. Local variable gets destroyed as soon as the function completes its execution. But this is not the case with static variables. The lifetime of the static variable is the entire program. So it remains until the program completes its execution. Even after the function completes its execution where it is defined, the static variable will not be destroyed. Now here is the example program to understand this concept better. Here I have defined the function fun with return type void. Within this function I have defined the static integer variable var with value 10 and with the help of stdc out I am trying to display the result of plus plus var. Here I am pre-incrementing the value of the variable var. Now inside the main function, I am calling the fun function for the first time. As this function is called, this variable will be created and it will be initialized to 10. This is a static integer variable, it will be created and initialized to 10. Then after this, with the help of stdc out, the value of plus plus var will be displayed on the screen which is 11. Because the current value of var is 10, after increment it will become 11 and 11 will be displayed on the screen. Then function completes its execution. But this does not mean that this variable will get destroyed. Here we can observe the lifetime of the static variable is the entire program. So when this program completes its execution, then only the static integer variable will be destroyed, not after completion of this function. So this variable retains its value. Now here, when we call this function for the second time, this line will be skipped. It is not the case that the static integer variable will be created and initialized to 10. It will not be recreated and reinitialized. This is what we need to understand. The variable will retain its value which is 11. And here because of plus plus var, we will see 12 on the screen. So now when we execute this program, we will get the output 11 and 12. I hope this is clear to you. Now what happens if we remove this static keyword from here? Now we have the local variable var of type integer with value 10. When we call this function, this variable will be created for the first time and it will be initialized to 10. Then because of this plus plus var, 11 will be displayed on the screen. After function completes its execution, this variable will be destroyed. And then when we call this function for the second time, then this variable will be recreated and reinitialized to 10. This is the difference we need to understand between the local variable and the static variable. Now here, because we have value 10, it will be incremented by 1 and we will get 11 on the screen. So when we execute this specific program, we will get the output as 11 and 11. We are getting 11 twice. I hope the difference is clear to you. So now we know the importance of static variables. We now know with the help of static variables, we can retain values. So with this, we have understood the third topic as well. Now let's move to the fourth topic to understand global variables. A global variable is a variable which is defined outside of all functions. Its scope is whole program and lifetime is also the entire program. The life ends when program completes execution. Now here is the example program to understand how global variables work. Here I have defined variable var of type integer with value 10. This variable is the global variable because this variable is not defined within any function. Here within this fun function, I am accessing this variable and I am incrementing the value of this variable by 1. 
and with the help of std c out i want to display this value here inside the main function i am calling the fun function this fun function will be called and we will receive value 10 here this will be incremented by 1 eventually we will get 11 on the screen now after this within this main function also I am trying to access the variable where and it is possible to access this variable because the scope of this variable is the entire program that is what I have written here so this variable is accessible to all the functions inside the main function we can access this variable and increment its value the current value of this variable is 11 because of this function call now we will get 12 because of plus plus var here this will be displayed on the screen so we will get the output as 11 and 12 here we can observe that this variable has the scope of the entire program and its lifetime is also the entire program so when the program completes its execution then only this variable will be destroyed so now we know what are global variables we are done with the last topic as well and we are done with the entire lecture. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this lecture. I will see you in the next one.